Today I want to do a lesson on the past of can. Can in the past is could. Don't pronounce the L. Now we use could to say that someone had the general ability or opportunity or permission to do something in the past. Okay? So in a positive sentence example he could speak five languages negative sorry I couldn't come last night and question could you swim when you were seven so here the French translation would be je savais uh, je pouvais je j'arrivais à um, j'ai pu je n'ai pas pu and so on, okay? Examples. My grandfather loved music. He could play the piano very well. I can't even play the triangle. Oh, I was tired last night, but I couldn't sleep. I'm sorry we couldn't come to your party last Friday. There was a lot of noise. I couldn't hear you. My grandfather could speak five languages. It was Jack's birthday last Saturday, but I couldn't go. We were totally free. We could do what we wanted. When he was 10, he could already speak three languages. Oh, we had a lovely room in the hotel. We could see the mountains. As soon as I walked in, I could smell gas. Mm. We couldn't take any pictures in the museum. It was forbidden. Mozart could play the piano when he was five. Wow. Sorry, I couldn't call you yesterday. My battery was dead. Could you swim when you were seven? I could stand on my head when I was uh, young. I can't do it anymore. So could is often used with verbs like to see, to hear, to smell, to taste, to feel, to remember, to understand. Yeah. Now, could is also used in conditional sentences and here, the translation would be je pourrais. Okay? So here we use could uh, to make suggestions or requests. Examples. Could you spell your name for me, please? Could I have a tissue? Sure. Help yourself. Could I use your pen for a minute, please? Sure, here you are. Could you lend me your car tonight? Could you sign here, please? Oh, could you turn that music down a little, please? Could you speak more slowly, please? Could you pass me the salt, please? Could you hold the door for me, please? Could you open the window, please? Could I speak to John, please? Could you send me a brochure, please? Could you give me a discount, please? Uh, could you give me an example? Could I have some tea? Could I have some more coffee? Could you please shut up for a minute? I could help you with your Spanish, you know. Oh, really? Do you think you could do that for me? Oh, yes, I could. Do you think I could borrow your bike? Do you think you could lend me 50 euros until next week? Extreme rain could cause the river to flood the city. What shall we do tonight? Ah, uh, we could go to the cinema. 
Where shall we go for our holidays? Ah, we could go to India. What shall we have for dinner? Mm, we could have chicken. What shall I buy him for his birthday? You could buy him a new bike. Ah, oh, this is a wonderful place, the Bahamas. I could stay here forever. Everything's fine now. Things couldn't be better. I'm so angry with him. I could kill him. <clears throat> Where's my phone? Oh, it could be in the car. If you're hungry, you could have lunch now. Now, could is also commonly used in conditional sentences as the conditional form of can for actions which are not realistic. Uh, translate. Ah, si seulement je pouvais. Okay, examples. I'd be delighted if you could join us for dinner. I'm struggling to understand algebra. If only I could understand it better. Mm. Oh, I wish I could trade places with you. I wish I could believe you, doctor. I wish I could believe you. Mm. <laughs> uh, I wish I could be bilingual. My students in third grade are fantastic. I wish I could say the same for this class. Ah, I wish I could do that, but I can't. I wish I could help you, but I have a meeting with the Secret Service. I wish I could help you, but that's classified information. Oh, I wish I could take a week off. I wish I could take you to Bali. I wish I could go with you. I wish we could go together. I wish we could be together. I wish I could ignore you like you ignore me. I wish I could stay here forever. I wish I could sing. I wish you could understand me. God, I wish you could see yourself. Look at you. I wish you could come to my birthday party. I wish there was some way I could repay you. Oh God, I wish things could get back to normal. I wish I could make it work. Now, be very, very careful. If you talk about a specific situation, then you cannot use could. Let's compare. Um, Jack was an excellent tennis player. He could beat anybody. So here, he could beat anybody means he had a, the general ability to beat anybody each time he played. But Jack and Mike played tennis yesterday. Jack played very well, but Mike was able to beat him or Mike managed to beat him. So in a specific situation, you have to use was or were able to. Um, in French, uh, it translates into il a réussi à. So this is for a specific situation, okay? Examples. 
So the fire spread through the building very quickly. But fortunately, we were able to escape. We managed to escape. This carpet was $500, but I was able to get a discount. I managed to get a discount because of this little mark in the corner. I was lucky. We didn't know where Jack was, but we were able to find him in the end. We managed to find him in the end. The thief was able to get away. The thief managed to get away. The first shop I went to didn't have any tomatoes, but I was able to find some in the next shop. I managed to find some. The day started off misty, but then the sun appeared and we were able to climb the mountain. We managed to climb the mountain, right? Now, if all these sentences are negative, then you have a choice. You can either say, we weren't able to escape or we couldn't escape. We weren't able to get a discount or we couldn't get a discount. He wasn't able to get away. He couldn't get away. I wasn't able to find any tomatoes. I couldn't find any tomatoes. We weren't able to climb the mountain. We couldn't climb the mountain. So in negative sentences, you can use couldn't. But in positive sentences, in a specific situation, you cannot use could. You have to use I was able or we were able or I managed, we managed. Okay? Okay, now can is not a normal verb. It's not an infinitive, okay? Uh, it's a modal verb. You cannot say to can, except for a, a kind of bird uh, called a toucan, all right? Now, can has only two forms, can and could. If you need to use can as an infinitive, you will have to replace can with to be able to, okay? Uh, keep this in mind, when you study your verbs, your irregular verbs, you always have uh, three columns. Example, uh, put, 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 take, took, taken, uh, go, went, gone, be, was, were, and been. Well, with can, since it's not an infinitive, uh, you will have can, could, and in the third column, nothing. So if you need to use the infinitive or the third column, then you have to replace can with to be able to. So to be able to, second column was, were able to, third column been able to. Okay? Now, if you need an infinitive after a modal verb, it is not grammatically correct to put two modal verbs together. So you will have to use to be able to after your first modal. Examples. Tom might 
be able to help you. Not Tom might can. Please, that is absolutely horrible, okay? You must be able to speak three languages. Not you must can, please. Um, I won't be able to come tomorrow. Not I won't can, please. I'll, I will, I'll be able to drive you to the airport. Not I uh, will can. <laughs> please, 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 that is absolutely horrible, okay? Now let me finish this lesson with uh, a special tip for very good students, okay? Uh, let's compare these sentences. Oh, I'm so tired. I could sleep for a week. And I was so tired. I could have slept for a week. So, I could sleep for a week. Je pourrais dormir toute une semaine. And I could have slept for a week. J'aurais pu dormir toute une semaine. Okay, so let me give you a few other examples. Uh, the situation is bad, but it could be worse. Ça pourrait être pire. In the past, the situation was bad, but it could have been worse. Aurait pu être pire. Okay, I could stay with Jack. When I go to London, je pourrais, it's a possibility. And compare with, why did you stay at a hotel when you came to Brussels? You could have stayed with me. Tu aurais pu loger chez moi. Yeah? A last example. You could do your homework on the train. It's a suggestion, yeah? Tu pourrais faire tes devoirs dans le train. And in the past, I couldn't have done it without you. Je n'aurais pas pu y arriver sans toi. Okay, well, that's the end of um, this lesson here. I hope I was able to teach you something. And, uh, well, if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye for now.